This is the number one meta loadout that you have to be using in this season one reloaded update. So I'm going to go through and break down every attachment on both of the guns to hopefully have you dropping your new PR. So jumping straight into the first attachment for the meta bass B build in season one reloaded, we do want to start with the Venom Long Barrel, which is going to increase our damage range accuracy and recoil control. As you can see in the more detailed stats, we do receive a 20% increase to both the effective and minimum damage range, as well as a 5% decrease to the recoil gun kick and 7.5% to both the horizontal and vertical recoil, which is going to make this build deal insane damage, especially in the long distance gunfights. Now for the second attachment, we do want to throw a optic onto the build, and I'm going to give you guys two separate options. The first one is going to be one that we use on pretty much every single build on this channel, and that is going to be the Choreo Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. This thing is super clean, very easy to use, and it is very effective in the long distance gunfights. And for the second option, if you would like a little bit less visual recoil, you can throw on the Nidar Model 2023. This optic is not going to be as effective in these super long distance gunfights, but if you are playing these smaller maps like Vondel Park or Ashika Island, this thing is still super effective, and it makes the gun feel like it has almost zero recoil. Next up, since this gun does only start with a 20 round magazine, we definitely want to go ahead and throw on the 45 round mag. Obviously, just increasing our magazine size, making this build a lot more reliable for fighting multiple enemies at once. Now we do want something to once again lower that recoil control. So with that being said, we're going to throw on the best recoil control under barrel and all of Warzone 3, and that is the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. It's going to give us a 10.2% decrease to the recoil gun kick, along with 12% to the horizontal recoil. And since a lot of the recoil on the Bass B is horizontal, this thing is absolutely perfect for this build. And for the fifth and final attachment, and probably one of the most important, we do want to throw on the brand new muzzle that they just added in Season 1 Reloaded, and that is going to be the Jack BFB. And this is going to give us the most recoil control that you can get out of any attachment in the entire game. 60% decrease to the recoil gun kick, along with 20% to the horizontal recoil, and a 40% decrease to the vertical recoil, making pretty much any gun that you put this on recoilless. Here's the full meta bass B build after the update for Season 1 Reloaded. Now let's jump over to the HRM9 build. So jumping straight into the first attachment for the meta HRM9, we actually want to go with one that they just added in the new update, and that is the Jack BFB muzzle. This honestly might be one of the most broken attachments in all of Warzone 3 because it gives us a 60% increase to our recoil gun kick, along with a 20% decrease to the horizontal recoil and a 40% decrease to the vertical recoil, making pretty much every single build that you put this on have absolutely zero recoil. Next up, I'm going to be rocking a optic on this build because I personally do not like the iron sights. So we want to throw on the Nidar Model 2023, which is one of my personal favorites to rock on SMG builds because it does give us zero added visual recoil. And on top of that, it is super clean and very easy to use. Now for the third attachment, we do want something to up that mobility and handling. So with that being said, we want to throw on the no stock attachment, which is going to do exactly that. It gives us a 7% increase to our movement speed, along with a 16.2% buff to our aim down sight speed and a 14.3% buff to our sprint to fire time. And even though we do receive a 40% increase to every recoil control stat, since we have that super broken recoil control muzzle on, this thing is still going to be super easy to use. Before I do finish off the rest of the build, if you guys do enjoy my loadout videos, don't forget to smash that like and sub button. We post the best Warzone 3 loadouts every single day. And right now, over 96% of you guys who watch my videos are yet to subscribe. So do you boy a favor and hit that bigger subscribe button down below. Back into the build, since this gun does only start with a 30 round magazine and it has a pretty fast rate of fire, we definitely want to throw on the 50 round mag, obviously increasing our magazine capacity, making this gun a lot more reliable for fighting multiple enemies at once. And for the fifth and final attachment to complete this build, we want to throw a under barrel on and it's going to be the FTAC MSP 98 handsaw, which is going to increase our recoil control as well as the mobility, 6.4% to the movement speed, along with a 16% decrease to the recoil gun kick and a 7.2% decrease to the vertical recoil, making this build a lot quicker to make some super nice movement plays and making it a lot easier to use. Here's the full build for the meta HRM9, and when you pair these two guns together, it is absolutely insane. They have me dropping a 35 plus kill game on Vondel Park, so without further ado, let's get into it. Oh god. My fault. Don't steal my kill. You son of a... You son of a... Hey, bro. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your tech map. Can't believe that kid stole my kill. You put the. Thank you. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy destroyed. No. You have to hunt down the rest of them. I better not die because of this. Thank God. The Sidewinder is just the worst gun in the game. That's a fact. Oh, I'll protect you, bro. Just soft red, I got you. Good boy. Oh, there's 
There's another one. Oh, you're dolphin diving on accident. How about we stop pulling teeth? Give me the gun. Give me the gun. I stopped shooting because I didn't think he was coming. I thought I had time to switch. Yeah, because there was a smoke. Bro, I'm stunned. This is awkward. Oh, that's awkward. Oh my god. What's even going on right now? Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Peek it. Oh, he peeked it as soon as I'm reloading. Enemies dropping into the AO. Mark remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. I tried to steal my kill. Oh my god, you're so lucky. I get no audio. I'm bad. There's one behind me too. I don't know how I'm alive. Did he just get executed? Good kill. Mark oh. the rest of that reload on quick. Your map. Get hunting. Failed the reload. Enemy destroyed. Use your Will you get me out of here? This gas is so annoying. Whoa, no! Oh! Hey, this is work. What's happening right now? What's going on? Oh my god. Good kill. Marking the rest of that Resurgence is about to end. Make it count. Requested recon flyover. You're not getting yourself off, my boy. There's a full team up here, I'm probably gonna die. And I gotta reload. I should've got a gas mask.
Damn, they actually turned around and went the other way. They scared of me. Need recon overhead. Got him. Marked remaining operators from that squad. Hunt There's no way. This kid's a throwing knife god. Please don't have teammates. What are you doing, my boy? You're losing ground. Move it. He just fried me, Jesus.